Extraordinary Wild West Gambling Photos Colorized Did you know that a furrow dealer could make more money in a shift than a cowboy was paid for in a month? But also, with a lucky draw, even a broken man could easily make some fortune. We've got some extraordinary photos colorized to get us a glimpse of those gambling times. And at the end of this video, you'll discover an amazing story about James Bowie's unforgettable gambling experience. So right away, let's get started. So in the Old West boom towns of Deadwood, Tombstone, Arizona, and Dodge City, many gamblers would gather, playing with cards with their back to the wall and their guns ready in their holsters. As dealers dealt popular games such as poker, three-card Monty, chuck a -luck, and the most sought after, Faroe, like in this photo of gentlemen playing Faroe in the Tombstone, Arizona Saloon. It was evident that the game was on its deciding part, as every onlooker and the gamblers from the table nearby were all anticipating what would happen next. Also with the gold rush craze, mining camps through Panama to California, known as the Gambler's Route, became a haven for frontiersmen who've got their pockets filled with their life savings. Dealers were everywhere, but as well, the frontier gambler, who was well-groomed, wearing a black tailored suit and mustache. This photo, taken in Yellow Aster Saloon in California, exactly fits that description, as these frontier characters played a game of chance. Well, gambling became prolific, not only because it's profitable, but also, it's undoubtedly fun. And life way back then was hardly livable, as harsh conditions, diseases, and lawlessness could easily take a toll on people's happiness. So, with playing cards, such as in this photo, these three fellows playing three-card Monty were perhaps having a great time after a day of work. It's amazing how gambling, in a way, got a frontierman, a vaquero, and a native deceit all together and just have fun. Though some saloons started as dirt floor ragged tents, with some whiskey barrels on the sides, gambling would still be there, with a wooden table at the center and some chairs, adding the gamblers and the dealer, they could start the game. We could see these men of all ages and clothes, as some were seated while some were standing wishing that they could be the winner on the next spin of the roulette. Actually, gambling was not only popular with the common folks, and even in the time of the Civil War, gamblers still found ways to enjoy their particular hobby. Yes, these were war doctors with their attendants taking a break in their quarters, probably after a long day of treating the wounded soldiers. So to double the fun, how about a poker game? Back in the riverboat gambling heydays, a group of men was playing poker, but one of them was an unlucky traveler from Natchez, who unfortunately stumbled with sharpers. Soon, all his money was lost, and in frustration, he planned to jump into the river. However, an observer stopped his attempt and joined the card game. While in the middle of a high-stakes hand, the stranger pulled a knife and twisted the sharper's wrist and discovered him cheating. So the stranger took the pot and gave the Natchez man his lost money and kept the rest. The man asked the stranger, Who the devil are you anyway? The stranger replied, I'm James Bowie. We've discovered an amazing photo collection of Wild West gambling. So click this and discover the famous cowboys of Wild West. 